Hey, are you keen for a cup of coffee? It's time for coffee. And just in case you don't know, my name is Van der Puchert and this is Finding Frequency. So, while I'm making my uh, nice fresh cup of coffee, um, my wife delivered 10 face shields today to someone who contacted her on social media and if you didn't listen to the last update, my wife is kind of DIY, do-it-yourself home producing some face shields here um, and she uh, delivered it, got a thank you bouquet of flowers or a little pot with flowers in it and it says thank you in Polish on it, dziękuję. And when she brought it in, I was, first of all, I was really happy when she got it, got this kind of um, token of gratitude. And I could see deep down in Marta's soul, she was also smiling. So I think finally, after a lot of stress, because what I don't talk about is um, she has to do the work with this really makeshift kind of situation we have here at home. And it's frustrating and she's losing her cool sometimes because her production line is, is a little bit um, all over the place. And, um, yeah, she's making a difference, and, and that's great. So I invested in her business today and, and bought a, a better stapler because I actually invested in my own health because I, I might find that that staple, stapler would be thrown at my head at some stage due to my wife's frustrations. So that is one really extraordinary thing today is that she did something meaningful for someone. She gave this person 10 shields, face shields, um, something that is a little bit um, less extraordinary is the, the, the person related to my wife. She works at a, a, ch a local children's hospital. And at some stage, she actually bought one of these shields. So it's like a face shield, one of these plastic protective shields that covers your face. And she bought it out of her own pocket, took it to work. And now, at this stage, she's forced to share that with uh, four other of her colleagues which is shocking. Um, I'm a little bit taken aback by it. Um, you know, I, I come from South Africa and, and that is a, that's something that I would expect from South Africa because it's a developing country. Things are tough. I mean, we, we're dealing. This is not about running anything down, but I'm in Poland. Um, this, 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 is, this is the European Union. This should not happen. Um, and I'm not pointing fingers. I'm just saying that we're going to have to ask some really tough questions and figure, figure out some really key things here moving forward. Because the more I listen to scientists and uh, the research I'm doing, this ain't going to be the last time that this happens. And in fact, I think we in general kind of lucky with how this has been treating us thus far. This could have been so much worse. And we don't know what's going to happen in the future. This is definitely not a one, once off. And anybody who thinks that is a total fool. So, great. So, wifey's gotten her stuff. I am now currently at home, supposedly baking coffee. Let me get that going. Um, working on some of the content that i am set myself to do. I've been doing videos every two weeks. Um, the next one is due um, actually Monday. There's no hard and fast rule that I have to have it out on Monday, and I guess I'm probably already on, on the, strong on the way of missing that deadline. I'm trying hard not to do that. But I'm, uh, I've been struggling with the topic because I want to talk about storytelling. And the biggest thing, and I, I, I struggle with this every time I do one of my videos, is that I feel like an imposter. Uh, how, how can I talk about a topic that is so wide and so full of tons of other experts? What value can I add to this topic? And then uh, kind of go through the struggle of trying to figure out the topic. And then I always come to the realization that I have to put my own spin on it. And that's maybe the advice I can give to you is that you can talk, to, talk about anything as long as you put it from your perspective of how you see it and how you've interpreted your experience. And then the second challenge, and this is what I'm struggling with now, is that I need to make it relevant to the audience because it's not about me. As much as I would like to be a super famous guy, unfortunately, it's not about me. 
It's about the audience. It's about the people that I offer this content to. So they need to find this useful. Else, what is the point of this? It's like Marta with the face shields. You know, um, in the end, I also know that Marta knows that it's not about her. It's about the impact that those face shields create. And, you know, ultimately, the benefit that it creates for everybody, including Marta. So... As I wait for my coffee to sizzle through, hopefully the caffeine will kick in and give me some more inspiration. That said, I am super excited. Two things, and I forgot to mention. On Friday, I got a green light for a new piece of business that I'm going to be doing. Um, it's a small new piece of business, but new nonetheless, and it happened in this crazy time. So Monday morning, I will have a kickoff meeting to commence doing my first pandemic project. Well, it's not related to the pandemic, but I got it in really bad times. And I hope this is a inspiration for you listening that good shit's still going to happen. And then the other highlight is that tonight at 9 o'clock, I'm going to be meeting with my mastermind group. And uh, I must say, every two weeks, meeting with these folks from all over the world is kind of a huge recharge for the batteries. I always feel guilty because I go in there, I observe, listen, I try to have a, add value, but I always, I'm like a leech. I'm, I'm just dr- like sucking all the energy out of these meetings because it's always inspiring. It always gets me going. So hopefully you'll find a, a recharged banner, much more creative and rearing to go by the next episode. But of course, for now, I'm really, really, Looking forward to this cup of coffee. It's sizzling. It's on its way. Listen. Yes. Coffee up, bitches. Thanks for listening.